Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle it is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages one of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world things have got underway here pretty promptly in and he's there to clear it and let's put a stop to that it's on a oh shooting chance and for a moment time stood still Hoists it forward. Well positioned to make that interception. Well, he acknowledges that he... he's had a goal! Goal! Slovenia! And Slovenia lead! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. And it's played forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, sweet feet. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. Now it's Ilicic. In he flies! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Forward it goes. He's had a shot! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp.
whistle for half time. And there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Slovenia leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. the start of another 45 minutes well it's been tight Peter but I'm expecting things to to open up now and we get some free flow in football oh well defended that had to be done the breakaway that's a foul simple decision for the referee wrestled off the ball Josip Ilicic and it's played forward your impression so far Jim? Well, this lead is beginning to look a little delicate. I'd rather see them show the ambition and adventure to go further ahead. But it seems as if they settle for a, a riskier approach now to defend us. Forward it goes. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Look, if they want to shut down the threat, he's a very good place to start. Goes for goal! Oh, and that should have been two. Yeah, he knew only too well that to concede then would have been tough to recover from. That could prove a big moment in this game. Good save. He got a decent fist on that. Oh, Red, he sorted that out. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Finds himself eased off the ball. Drives it towards the front. Tries to get it forward quickly. Now a chance to break. Ball's loose, who's getting there? And he has been fouled there. Just the wrong outcome. 
good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. And that will be the final act. Slovenia, hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Well, to me, this is a result, Peter, that says an awful lot more than the scoreline suggests. You know, after the goal, the team just settled down and, and looked surprisingly comfortable and didn't really need to work too hard. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.